Hey guys, so it's come to my attention that I don't do enough spool gun videos. So I've got the perfect project for that today. Uh, this guy brought this structure over and he wants this mounted right in the middle of a 10 by 18 plate. Uh, so I'm going to use the spool gun and I'm going to show you how I cut this off. Stick around. Okay, to cut this, it's nothing special. You would think with all my tools and equipment that I, I got that I'd use something, some $600 evolution saw or something like that. Well, I probably should, that'd be nice. But as you can see, I'm just using an old Ryobi circular saw, but I do have the Diablo aluminum blade seven and a quarter inch 56 teeth it's part number d 756 n and it cuts this like butter and um so let me go ahead and get this piece cut and then we got to cut a little piece across here too Well, that was pretty easy. All right, so now I got a, um, this needs to be 18 inches and this is sitting at about 21. So let me get this marked and I'll cut that off too. Okay, so we got our 10 by 18 piece, but you know, I'm not gonna give it to the customer with rough edges and sharp corners. Uh, so let's take it over to the belt sander and polish it up a little bit. Okay, so I've got this plate all cleaned up, edges rounded, uh, so nobody gets poked. Um, and I've cleaned the top with some acetone. I've also cleaned the base with acetone, and I've got it marked where I want it. Now, I'm not worried about the marks because after I brush it, I'm going to wipe it with acetone again. Uh, this just shows me where I need to brush. Now, when you, uh, when you brush, you need to make sure that you're only using a stainless steel brush. Um, they make uh, stainless steel wire brushes that you can put on uh, an angle grinder. Uh, I just can't find mine right now. But uh, so I'm just going to use this little stainless steel. Uh, they call this a toothbrush. Uh, toothbrush stainless steel you can buy these pretty readily on um, amazon but uh, i just buy them at my local uh, welding supply for about a dollar each so i'm just going to clean this up and some of the purists are going to say oh you need to go in one direction uh well you're right um i'm just going to go back and forth to break this top layer and then I'm going to go back just in one direction um, but again the only reason I made these marks was to show me where where I need to brush and uh, so let me get this done and um, I'll get the um, uh, spool gun ready and today we're going to use the um, the prime weld MTS uh, 200 to power the um, uh, spool gun. It's it's a very good machine for spool gun because it um, it um, it has settings in there specifically for spool gun operation and. Um, 
it's a very nice unit if you don't have one or if you're looking for one i would suggest that one because it can do uh spool gun it can do tig mig stick uh it's a beast of a machine and uh again it's it's got built-in uh functions specifically for spool gun um you have to tell it what kind of material i mean what kind of wire you're using uh the thickness and all that kind of stuff so it's uh really nice okay let me get this uh wiped down and get the spool gun ready and we'll knock this out okay we're almost ready i just want to show you before you do any kind of project like this you always want to take some material of the same thickness and uh test your settings uh so right now i've got it on 21 and a half and 550 and i've got my argon over here set to 30. all right so i'm going to start off by uh just tacking these four corners Bend your wire over. All right, and when I tack, I like to do like two or three beads <clears throat> at one time. All right, so I'm gonna do right across this Well, I didn't like how it was doing right here. By the time I got here, I could tell that uh, it may be uh, a tension issue with my spool. Once I got here to the end, it started coming out a lot faster. Sounded a lot better. All right, I'm going to turn this around so you can see the other side while I do it. All right, one of the best tips that I can give you when using a spool gun is when your wire's sticking out like this, always fold it over the nozzle. That keeps it from burning up in, in, into the tip. And every time you stop, just get into the habit of just bending that over the nozzle so that it's ready. So I'm going to go ahead and go along this side right here. All right, right when I got to about right here, uh, 
I started getting into what sounded like a tension issue with my with my spool. It just all of a sudden started slowing down. I think I'm going to have to put a new spool of wire on here. It's not wanting to feed from one side of the spool too well. Okay, well, there you go. Um, simple little project. I could have and probably should have just tigged this, but I haven't made a, a spool gun video in a while, so I thought I would do that. Um, all this is, he's going to bolt this to his dock, and this is to hold a flagpole. So, nothing major. Uh, that side looks good. I was having problems. <laughs> so y'all, y'all want a real world. Well, here's, here's real world. Uh, I would start about halfway. And when the wire on my spool got to one side, it, it started, uh, dragging. And so it wasn't coming out as fast. And I knew I could tell when that wire on the spool got about halfway because then it started really shooting out and it'll shoot out fast until it goes back over about halfway across the spool and starts starts bogging down again. So I think I need to uh, change out that spool of uh, uh, wire on there. By the way, the wire was 40-43. And, um, but I don't know. it. It does good. I got the flap wheel, kind of cleaned it up a little bit, and uh, I'm not too too hurt about it for what it is. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you don't want if you don't mind. If you don't want to subscribe, I get it, but um, maybe you could at least hit that thumbs up, give me a like. That goes a long way on my analytics and uh, lets YouTube uh, know to show it more. But uh, anyway, y'all have a good week.